Hello everyone, my name is Uthurst and welcome back to a new episode of Stone Hearth. We are uh, still in summer currently and we have gone ahead and bored out some spots in this hillside which we're going to be using to build into today. I don't know how much of this we're going to actually get completed today, but you can see kind of the rough shape that I'm gonna be going for. So um, in my opinion, we're gonna do shops first floor on a lot of these, second floor kind of living areas and top floor maybe additional living areas uh, as well. So uh, all this will have a nice stone facade, kind of dwarvish looking. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for that. But first things first, since it is the start of a new day, we should be getting a daily update soon. Uh, oh boy, this guy is poisoned. For the next five hours, he's losing 5% health points per every 30 minutes. This poison only damages them down to 75% of their health total. So he's basically locked at 75% HP until uh, the poison wears off. That's an interesting uh, effect as well, so. Let's see if our tailor, because I think they're the ones that can make some of these quivers. Uh, we need feathers, which we don't have any chickens just yet because we don't have anything along the lines of that. Ooh, cool. Level four farmer. 50% more yield from each plant. That's great. That's uh, gives you a 50% more yield. N no, uh, no other way to say that. Um, something else I also want to address this episode is that we have um, two people coming on board to the town. Um, we have, uh, let's see, Rockjaw. Rockjaw wanted to be a crafter, so let's go ahead and pop this open and see Sven. We'll go ahead and uh, name Sven Fourthwind Rockjaw because that's a cool name for a blacksmith. Welcome to the town. Enjoy your stay. Hopefully you live. Number two is Cameron. Cameron didn't really um, suggest anything specifically. So we'll go ahead and make Cameron one of the archers of the group, I would say. So we'll, we'll make him this one, Cameron. Cameron the Goblin Crusher, because he has a title because he's killed so many goblins. Uh, we have a little bit of a goblin menace out at the kind of the um, outskirts of town. We're gonna have to be dealing with those at some point soon today as well. Um, but we need to get a couple more people and get a little bit more military. I wanna get additional footmen, um, an additional archer, and a um, an additional cleric. And then I think that that'll kind of cover up all of our bases for the most part here. So first things first though, we need we need to get some buildings, right? For our crafters and things. So we're gonna go ahead and take down all these temporary ladders. We don't really need them anymore. They're not really gonna be part of the buildings long-term. So we should go ahead and start designing out uh, maybe a few of the first floor compartments here. Um, I'm thinking closer to the mine, we could, we could probably do a blacksmith here and a stonemason here. That might be good. And we'll start out with that. So we'll go ahead and pause the game just to make sure it's safe. We'll enter slice mode. Kind of come down just to one beneath the ceiling so we can get as much visible as possible and we're gonna go ahead and start a new building so this is gonna be a new building yes and we need to lay out uh, using road for the floor here so that should be probably a stone I would say I can't really see everything very well because this slice menu is a bit in the way so maybe initially we'll have to do without that so let's just go ahead and do like a gun metal you know what I did not expect that I did not expect that to be an issue so hold on we'll go back 
And we might have to just do... Can I just paint it? Nope. Can't do that. Can I do a room? And yeah, that's what we might have to do. So if I grab this room, expand this out a little bit. Safe to here. And also back into the wall. Oh, no, see, we're getting, we're getting some strange conflicts. I've never built into A mountainside like this before? Um, hmm. And it doesn't like it. I'll tell you now, it really, really doesn't like it. Let's, let's try this. Let's try making a hole. No. Let's try doing a road and then making a hole through the road. No. Doesn't like that either. I wonder if anyone else has had this issue before, because if this is the case, I might have to go through and really hollow this out 100%. That's a, that's a little disappointing. I wanted to be all ready for you guys and get something good started. So we'll, we'll have to kind of dig this out. And this is just simply so we can get a floor in. That's workable. I have to do it from both sides as well. And uh, this might be a little time consuming. This is a major delay. This is uh, not something I've ever really had to deal with with my other towns, right? Because we always kind of built um, outside anyways. I guess we should go ahead and just do it uh, up here as well. You can see I'm leaving a one block gap between these. And this is just simply because they need a pathway to get to here and knock out these floors. Um, it's not because I really want to, it's just kind of a base requirement to do this here. So I think we'll start with these two first and build these up, and then we'll go through uh, the other sections. Because these will be the first kind of two-story little things. Uh, they shouldn't be too crazy. I say shouldn't be, but uh, you know you know how it is whenever you're building something. You're never 100% sure uh, how it's gonna go until you're really done. At least we have enough workers that can get through this. Did I have a daily update that I missed? No, I I didn't. Did I don't even think I got the daily update for today's episode. That's, that's a little interesting. Okay, so we'll just use a block piece to to kind of fill in the floor here. Um, we're gonna have to go ahead and build a ladder up to the second floor. just for now and I really hope I can I can really get and capture the aesthetic uh, that I'm going for in my head it, it may not happen um, but hopefully we can what's this this is bighorn sheep I think this is a modded sheep and we have raiders coming over they've been a bit of a pain lately because uh, they'll come over and just attack my storage area and just cause a huge ruckus. For sure. All right, so we're gonna focus fire them. Try and hopefully whittle them down as they work their way through here. Because what, what they're going to do is immediately run over to our stockpile and just 
start destroying things. Yeah, it's a raiding party, but uh, it, it's odd because they don't really try and steal. Um, it's, it's different. They, they try and more just hamper my growth and uh, destroy my assets. You can see now I start the long process of trying to get rid of the stuff on the upper floor here. Which is really not a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and summon a weapons dealer here and we're, we're probably gonna have a lot of stone. Like a lot of it. So I'm gonna be getting rid of a decent amount of it. Because our inventory is just uh, a little too much. A little too much. All right. So lower floor, Smith, Stonemason, Blacksmith. This just might be a storage area in general. So I might go ahead and queue up a whole bunch of stuff from the stonemason, specifically. Storage-wise, which could be cool. So like if I craft like, say six, six of these. Five, one, eight wall shells or something like that. And then like, I don't know, 10 stone coffers? That might be good. Do, do I, I have a stone mason, right? Is, is it this guy right here? No, that's the blacksmith. I don't think I currently have a stone mason. No, I do. I do, Luna fourth win. So she'll be working on that just fine. She'll be crafting those. If I come to the tailor, just look at some of the basic resources like thread. What are you missing on this? Fur. Because I can't maintain the leather that I wanted. Okay. Blacksmith, I know you've been kind of busy. Are you at a better spot? It looks like, oh, we can finally make iron. Which is great. Uh, footman level three, main hand. Footman level four, main hand. Northern Battle Axe. From level four, two-handed. All right, let's, uh, I think we need some lumber. Cause it looks like we're out of that. And if I go over to me, cause I am the footman here, I am almost level three. Almost level three. Come on, I just want this to be working. Well, I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, and I know you guys would probably want to see a speed build or something. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut to a point that uh, this stuff is kind of laid out, right? And then we can kind of watch them build it in a way, because it is always nice to watch uh, them go about uh, building a structure in Stone Hearth. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, it's very similar to Ostriv um, in a way because they're gonna come out here bit by bit and throw blocks down, put up scaffolding. And, and I always appreciate uh, games that show that uh, the hard work that your simulation uh, kind of townsfolk kind of go through to build these things. 
So I'll be back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and again start with these two and uh, see how it turns out. All right, here we are. And uh, I've decided to change the plan a little bit. Uh, after I got to building in these tiny little nooks, I realized that this is just too small of a space to really throw a shop at a living quarter. So what I ended up doing is just making two small row homes onto here. Uh, you might think they look a little odd um, because they're not really fully maybe uh, blended in yet. And, and that's kind of done on purpose, right? Because I don't know how everything else is gonna look. And once I get all the kind of facades to match just the cutaways, uh, we'll go in and try and tie everything together a little bit more with uh, walkways, additional kind of stone facade work, um, things like that. But these, these are kind of two rough little builds. So uh, let's go ahead and get this going. It's turning nighttime, so there's probably not much for you guys to see. That's a big old wolf coming into this giant wolf. Yeah, no doubt that is. That is what I would call a giant wolf right there. So let's go ahead and start the build process, which I did not do. I just kind of close out the build menu and build. Everything, every, everything's highlighted in red. Literally everything about this build is wrong. Which makes no sense. Why can't they, why can't they figure this out? Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. That's frustrating. It's been like a good while trying to squeeze uh, stuff in there and uh, that's disappointing. That is extremely, extremely disappointing. Okay, there we go, now I can actually see. I don't see anything that's wrong, but they just can't figure out how to build it. That kind of makes no sense to me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything highlighted in red that's not supported. Uh, everything's kind of contained in its own building just kind of bumped up against another one but I don't think I've ever had I don't think I've ever had that be an issue before yeah they just they just simply don't know how to make this thing that is like beyond disappointing this episode is not going Great. Right. Okay. I wonder if I should have to rethink this whole building into a mountainside thing. Because it's obviously not going to work. <laughs> um, hmm. Man, that that's awful. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm. I'm so demotivated now. Okay. Tell you what. This. This is what I'll do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pose the question to you guys. Um. Since this. This is obviously not going to work. At least not the way that I'm doing it. Um. And I. I'm gonna spend a long time trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Do we simply start over, or do I start over and get to roughly the same point in time, just with a different setup? Or do I try and get this to work? I, I can't think of any other way to change this though. It's, it's literally how I have built everything else in this game. And it's creating an issue. 
it could be the fact that there's a bit of it kind of underground and um, maybe they don't like it because they can't walk up above these walls. I mean, that could be it. Try that. Nope, then didn't, didn't change a damn thing. All right, that's fine. Tell you what, this this episode is just called Red Box Horror. There you go. There's a wonderful. Here's the screenshot. Just, just red errors and mistakes. Mistakes were made. Anyways, the, the question the question is still up in the air. Do do I scratch this whole idea and just make a normal village? Probably. Um, but I, I do want to hear you guys' feedback. Uh, it's a bit of a shame nothing went anywhere this episode, but uh, sometimes that's the way it goes. Um, so, anyways, if you want to see more SimStar, let me know. Um, if you want to join the town, let me know. So far, no one's died, so that's good. And we are technically growing, just living outside. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.